Welcome to this review of Audacity. In this video, we'll be discussing what Audacity is, the features it has available to the user, and then also the criteria in which we use to review this software application. Audacity is a free, open source, cross-platform audio software. To break that down, free means that you will never have to pay for downloading the software or pay any additional fees for if you should make money from this. Open source being that this software can be used by anybody. They can download it, share it, modify it if they wish without needing permission from the original creators. All they would have to do is acknowledge that it was created by the authors themselves. Cross-platform means that this software is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux computers. Unfortunately, there is no mobile version yet. It's an audio software in that it's not just an audio recorder or an editor, but both. So a user can use it to record their voice, or they can bring in other tracks that have been recorded or shared online and compile those together to make original content. Features for Audacity are recording, so you can do a live recording as mentioned before, or you can actually record other content, either analog tapes, LPs, or even transfer digital content from CDs into Audacity. You may need some other additional chords, and there are references to that on this page. You can also export and import different audio file types. There are also plugins that are available to expand the capabilities of the software. Users can edit their recordings, whether they cut, copy, and paste. They can also apply effects. For example, they can remove background noise from the recordings. And then there's analysis of the recordings themselves, which may be a little more advanced for some users, but um, it is available. I'd like to now review the evaluation criteria used for the software application. Cost and access have been touched upon, cost being free and access being quite available, very few restrictions of use. Ease of use is quite high with this application, maybe a brief tutorial on how to use it. Impact on student learning depends on how it's utilized, uh, whether it's for the individual or group learning. Audacity is scored quite high in privacy in that it doesn't capture or share user data. 